Hey everyone, this video is going to take on a different kind of tone. I'm, I'm not going to waste your time in this video to talk. I'm kind of going to talk about the future of the Dark Haven show, you know, like, like you care, right? Now let's be real, this thing that is the Dark Haven show, it isn't like, you know, it's not like the AVGN or JonTron or Pro Jared or any of those fuckers. It's, it's just a stupid little project I pulled together in audacity of Camtasia Studio 8 and try to actually use my YouTube channel for something other than the total nonsense since I rarely use it anyway. But at this point I think it's better that this kind of video comes sooner rather than later just for the sake of everyone. You, me, everyone else watching, you know. Everybody. I spent a lot of time thinking about like, thinking hard about how I was going to even do the FAMAS video I kind of teased previously, and the overall production value, the scope of the channel, you know, that is the lack thereof. And I came to the realization that this all was not going to be conducive to a long-haul kind of series. I mean, you've seen the AEK971 video, and let's be realistic, I'm not a naturally funny person, and being funny is difficult. It's all subjective, and it's hard for me to kind of pick and choose what would be a funny gag here, but then it tends to only be funny to me and nobody else. My humor is very dry, and there's just a lack of precedent for that kind of humor in the kind of videos I want to do. I'm monotone, I'm boring when I talk, I know. I talk a lot about stats and realism, yeah, whatever, nobody really cares. But as far as I can tell, doing that wouldn't really set my channel apart from anyone else's. So I'm looking more towards that comedy approach, I, I want to do that, yes, because I don't see that too often in Battlefield 4 weapon review videos. I mean, you see a lot of that kind of shit on channels that focus on the overall gameplay, like the trolling videos for Battlefield 4 can be hysterical. Like the Battlefield 3 space program, that was godlike. And I couldn't hope to match that. But at the same time, it's not really my objective to match it anyway. So that's not really about talking about the gameplay itself. It's about talking about the gear, about reviewing the game on a much lower level, closer to the data, if you will. And again, there's no real precedent for that kind of comedy when you're talking about that stuff. And a combination of that and the turnaround time I'm looking at, given that my GTX 670 was kind of showing its age in Battlefield 4 with Shadowplay running, Camtasia didn't really play super nice with it, so I decided it was time to move it up a notch and get a GTX 980. So yeah, I also got a new mic too, if you can't tell. I mean, I'm sure you don't care, but whatever. I'm now running Battlefield 4 at 1920x1080 at all ultra, and streaming at the same time, and my 980 is like, oh yeah, whatever, dude, I mean, like, that, that's cool, I guess. You want some tessellation? You, you, you want some parallax mapping? Yeah, that's cool. Wake me up when you need it. And it basically completely makes my Xbox One and PS4 entirely obsolete and worthless. So, needless to say, I'm pretty much not doing any more Xbox One or PS4 footage of Battlefield 4. There's just no point now that I'm running this card, so fuck it. I'm probably going to end up selling my Xbox One since it's a total piece of shit, and my PS4 officially only has one reason to continue to take up space on my desk. And if you're watching this dude, you know what I'm talking about. I'm also looking at partnering up with Moppin, and some of you guys might know him. I work with him on a daily basis. We figured, hey, we both have YouTube channels. Why not get together and do some cool stuff? So I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm really looking forward to putting out cool stuff with him in general. I mean, not just my channel, his channel too. Maybe we don't know yet. He's a really great guy. He's funny as hell. He's just generally awesome to work with, and he's probably one of the best people I could possibly partner up with. If we could put out some content together, I, you know, I think that would be a total plus in every way for the both of us. And we both work the same shitty schedule together. We both know how it is. He knows, he knows what my channel's going through. I know how it is for him putting out content. But we both have the same time off all the time. We both work the, not the same shift, but in such a way that we both get the same off days. So with a little luck, I think we can put out some great shit in a pretty timely manner. And I'm really hoping that all pulls together. So, to recap and make all this short and neat, 
I'm definitely planning on doing more videos soon. I'm definitely planning on restructuring the series a little bit. Just to make it a little more appealing to everybody. Definitely looking at ramping up the overall production scope of the show. You know, because... I mean, let's just roll the 416 video. And I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to getting Moppin' on board. You guys should check out his channel while you're here, too. And I know he'd appreciate your patronage as much as I do. Check him out on YouTube.com slash M-A-U-P-1-N. He puts out some cool shit, man. And thanks for watching. This really means a lot. Take care, guys. And remember, like and share, or you're black.